so I am back today to review the Texture ID line. I know you guys have been waiting for this since I, you know, I've been waiting on my camera. I've been having issues with a camera for about, for about a month now, and I finally got it. So thank you all for your patience. We have the Texture ID line. Now I had a Sevy contact me through Instagram. This line is sold exclusively at Sally's, and it claims to be for all hair textures. There's a diagram here at the bottom of all of their um, products, and I'll show you an example here. It says for coily, excuse me, for curly to coily hair types. And you can see the picture right there if it'll zoom in right there one two three and four with me of course being a number four so i have four products and i purchased these products buy one get one 50 percent off again at sally's the first product i'm going to show you is the deep treatment mask okay now this has sweet almond oil wheat protein and, and honey if you're protein sensitive be mindful of that let's look at the consistency it smells like what's in here there's something in here that has a very familiar smell. Safflower seed, safflower seed, sweet almond oil. I don't know, but this is very, very thick. See that? So next up we have the styling cream. It contains cocoa butter and shea butter. It said it provides medium hold while retaining moisture and elasticity. So let's look at the consistency of this product. Oh, it is like a pudding. Yeah, this is like a creamy pudding. It is creamy, but definitely it, it, it jiggles like a pudding does, okay? Now what I've seen most reviewers do on YouTube is they are combining the styling cream along with the leaving spray. I should have done this one first. Um, it's been mostly 3B3C chicks I've seen reviewing this product doing wash and goes. And we know that's not happening over here anytime soon, girl. <laughs> so this right here is the leave-in spray. Um, this has aloe vera and coconut oil. Promotes moisture and softness. Let's see what the spray looks like. Oh, so that's weird. It shoots out instead of misting, which is okay, all right? And last but not least, I picked up a foaming mousse. Now I will be having the prices along with um, how large these products are below in the description box, okay? So this is the Thermal Multi-Styling Foam, which contains wheat protein and argan oil. So what I would be doing are flat twists with perm rods. I think this will be easier to sleep in than having perm rods all over my hair. So what I'm gonna be doing is the deep conditioner today, and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow to actually set my hair. Now I will be using a blow dryer, okay, blow dryer. Um, I find that my hair does better if I, I found that with flat twists especially, it does better if I set it on um, damp hair and not necessarily wet hair. So I won't be setting my hair or styling my hair today, okay? Ryan Little. <laughs> rinsed out the deep conditioner and this is what my hair looks like now you know I'm gonna be honest with y'all right this is not a deep conditioner where I'm like oh girl let me run out to my local Sally's and cop that no it's not um, my hair feels soft but it's mediocre not throwing, not you know, not trying to be petty or anything. That's just my honest opinion. Um, yeah, it wasn't all that great for me. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna section off my hair, lightly apply a blow dryer, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So it is the same day as my deep conditioner. My husband has announced that he would like, he may like to go out to eat tomorrow. This is after I've had three glasses of wine. So excuse any excessive eye rolling, hand gestures. Nonverbal annotations, connotations.
So yeah, not happy that I'm having to do this at the last minute. This is literally the, the night before I'm going to be taken down. I'm going to be using the leave-in spray for each large section along with the styling cream. And I'm going to use the mousse to actually set the twist itself. I've done styles like this with similar products, but I have allowed my hair to set for a full 24 to 36 hours, baby. Yes, I know my hair. So yeah, you guys are gonna see what's gonna happen basically. it is the very next day and I ended up getting under the hair dryer for about 20 minutes um, right before this it looks great huh well the back the back was not a hundred percent dry when you are doing flat twists especially when you don't allow your hair to set um, that long it will get frizzy so I'm gonna continue to take down my hair now at this point I'm not gonna separate I also noticed while I was setting my hair and it's spe uh, specifically with the styling cream. I'm on the fence with that product. Um, only because, y'all, I've, I've used tons of products and by now I know what will work for my hair. As I was applying it, I didn't see that it was smoothing down my hair. It was still a bit puffy, even with adding the oil. So this is what it looks like it is <sighs> mm -hmm. it is very frizzy we're talking about frizz city all over here all right here it's turning it into a fro actually a curly fro at this point the back is beavered in squirrel's nest um yeah hmm so this is what I'm gonna do at this point. I'm still gonna include this footage because natural hair is, is not, you know, it's consistently inconsistent, girl. So I'm going to reset my hair tomorrow when it's had time to properly dry. You will not see that footage because I think it's redundant. You've already saw me um, set my hair before. However, however, at this point, I'm not going to use trying to debate. I'm not gonna use the leave-in spray. I'm not, that's too much liquid. I'm gonna use the mousse and a little bit of the cream. Again, give it a few days and I will come back with sledge. You watch and see. All right, you guys, so it is two days later and now I am taking down my twist, hoping and praying that the style comes out right. I want to add the day before at least the day after you guys saw me wearing the yellow blouse my hair was extremely dry oh my gosh it was so dry and it was frigging out the back actually completely froze out now that could have been a number of things it could have been because one my hair was wasn't all the way dry and unraveled or it could have been a product 
My guess is it was a combination of things, but I'm thinking that that leave-in spray that they have is drying. Um, I'm willing to bet that that was the culprit, or at least that added to the dryness. So I'm taking my time to unravel the twist. I did not add any oil. Now I did use a different leave-in to help with these with this um, set. Excuse me. I used a little bit of the styling cream and just one squirt or one pump of the mousse, and that is it. That is all I used to set my hair. Again, taking my time to unravel. I separated a little bit, fluff up, and you guys are gonna see the end result here. shaking up my hair there to loosen up the curls but yes much better this time around right now I will say this these products hardly gave me any hold the definition was great right now but towards the end of the day my hair started to swell up it started to lose all definition I got a few hours of wear I'm not sure it's because I said it you know twice in a row you would think that would help but at this point I am on the fence with this line I may try it again on all hair but I can't say I definitely like it at this point. So it is what it is, you guys. Now, I'm not going to touch my hair anymore because I can feel the frizzing is coming. But I told you, I told y'all I would come back with some sledge. This is an up close. This is what it looks like down. I'm not going to maintain this look. There's not enough hold with these products. Um, I could just tell. And that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. And thank you as always to all my new subscribers. Take care. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,